It's the radio guy, Mike Prince. Welcome to another episode of the Mike Prince Show. Of course, our mission is to come to you each and every day right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Today would be no exception to the rule. Our social media handles for Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter are all at the Mike Prince Show. The YouTube channel is Open Mic Broadcast Network. Our website is obnradio.com. And without any further delay, we'll jump right into today's episode. We want to thank our guest on our Sunday Night Live, Coach Gary Cunningham of Ben Bolts High School, head football coach and athletic director, talking about the shutting down of their program for the fall 2020 campaign. And Allison Brown, new volleyball coach at Waller High School. You can go back and check out the archive section on that through the OBN website. And as we were discussing the concerns of moving forward, staying in reserve, we finally got the poll in on whether or not many of you felt that it was comfortable enough times and necessary times to move forward with fall competition throughout high school in the rest of the country. 78% of you said absolutely yes. Let's get the games going. There's also a discussion talking about a test that will cost as little as four bucks that could detect if one has been affected by the coronavirus by way of saliva. Be interesting to see how fast, how accurate that would be developed. And I hear all the testing, but you still need some type of remedy to help ward this thing off. But they're steadily working on that. And all we could do is be patient and try to see it through. And speaking of trying to see things through, news coming from the Division II level that Bluefield College, a tiny HBCU institution out of West Virginia, will be adding 12 additional sports for the 2021 campaign. Now, football is the one that grabbed the attention, but they'll be adding women's soccer, golf, swimming, gymnastics, and bowling, just to name a few. Now, part of it, as President Price made mention of, that just adding those 12 sports alone will increase the student attendance by 250 student athletes. And with that being said, they will expect growth with this move. Right now, they're currently A shade under 1,250 students, it was somewhere in the neighborhood of 1,246 students, and they're in preparations for launching things off for the 2021 season. HBCU Bluefield College out of West Virginia. We'll wish them success. Kansas Valley Schools Credit Union has 13 different locations to better serve you. Locations in Rosenberg, Missouri City, Katy, College Station, Bryan, Brenham, and Waller, Texas. For more information, you can contact them on their toll-free number, 855-391-2149. Or you can send an email to information at bvscu.org. We spoke on the Sunday Night Live edition. In case those who missed that, we come live on Sunday, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And we've been going through our archives. And man, we have some golden nuggets that we're going to be reintroducing to you guys here very soon. And we can't wait to share that with you. And we've done a lot of game coverage on high school. JUCO, and collegiate level, and you're amazed at how much you really have. So we're going to try to sort through and give these games back to you for your listening pleasure, and even some old classic interviews, and you'll be amazed. And when you listen to where things started and where they are now, kind of gives you appreciation for the content, for all the many programs we've been able to highlight the student athletes and the coaches as well so we hope you guys enjoy that section as we go back in time Tyrone Davis said if I could turn back the hands of time 
not necessarily turn them back, but we're going to visit from time to time to get those back into your listening zone. As we've been discussing throughout this pandemic challenge, the sport that appears to be on course to get things right and get things as close to normal as we once upon a time knew it would be basketball in addition to volleyball. And the reason that I make mention of those two sports is because they have less moving pieces to try to corral and you would have a closer opportunity to replicate the bubble-like effect that the NBA is having major success and the NHL with their bubble concept. But that remains to be seen on how you could see this from beginning to end. But volleyball is actually scheduled on the high school ranks to start September 15th, as indicated by Allison Brown from Waller on the Sunday Night Live edition. Hopefully, there will still be some procedures in place. Right now, they're following the guides of the CDC to make sure that everyone is in compliance and doing what needs to be done. Ultimately, people have to be responsible and accountable one toward another. There have already been incidents popping up throughout the nation where college students have gathered back together and having parties disregarding the social distancing. We can't get anywhere with that type of behavior. We've got to rally around each other, support each other, that we could somewhat bring an end to this corona madness. And speaking of bringing things to an end, I am going to exit stage left for today. I want to thank you guys so much for joining in with us. We definitely cannot get these things done without your support, whether it's a listening support, financial support, moral support, commentary support. Your support is what makes the difference with our daily programming here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. My time is far spent for right now. As always, you guys be blessed, and we'll see you on the other side.